Hello YouTube Electronic TV here. I'm gonna show you how to put using the Pandora's batteries method. I'm gonna hack this PSP 2000 running on 6.0 firmware and put it on 5.0 MP3 using the Pandora's battery. And a magic memory stick. Now, first what you do is want to make the mem magic memory stick. This is already made into a Pandora's battery. Now, to make the magic memory stick, make memory stick, make sure your theme is set to classic. Go to memory stick, and I'm using Despertar Del Cementario version eight. Make sure you have the 1.50 update on your root and name it so 150 and the 5.0 uh, update and name it 500. Now you gotta turn off all custom themes so turn off the plugin. going into recovery mode. Make sure you turn off your theme. Plugin. Plugins. Okay. Exit. I'm sorry, don't set it to classic, set it to original. Now you can run it. This is a very easy and simple technique. This is how I got my custom firmware. And just press X. And it should not take long to finish. And as I said, you need to rename the 5.0 update to 500.pvp and the 150 to 150. I'll show you that. Right here. 150.pvp. And alright, we're already 29% there. And the other PSP, which is my friend's PSP, he's on firmware. He is on firmware. Six point one zero. The firmware he's on, and I'm gonna downgrade him to five point zero and three three dash six. Okay, 55% completed. Should will not take long at all. And make sure you do have the charger in there, just in case. Just in case. And I know for a fact when I'm doing the Pandora's recovery, I'm going to need the battery because my Pandora's battery is completely dead. Um, rate, comment, subscribe for more videos like this. I did a few PSP. Well, my first video was a PSP video. I'm going to update it. It's how to install um, themes. And I'm definitely going to make a new how to install custom themes because the one I made was really some crap. completed now I just shut down the device okay and completely turn off the other PSP by holding that for a couple seconds until the screen goes out all right now you're gonna want to put the memory card in first let's take out the memory card 
card. Okay. Slide it in. And then click it. Now, transfer the charger in there. Take out the battery. in the Pandora's battery. But while putting it in, hold down L. The L trigger. Alright. And here it is. And just press X to install 5.0 MP3. And this shouldn't take long as well. So it's very easy. Now this CSV will have custom firmware enabled. Simple. You can get Pandora's batteries online where if you have a friend who already has custom firmware can use his custom firmware enabled PSP to make your own Pandora's battery. Yeah, and it's very easy. Simple techniques. And when this finish boot, uh, finishes loading, you will have 5.0 MP3. Um, just go into update, and then just update to MP3-6. And that's about it. Well, I'm going to wait a little while for this to finish, so you can actually see the boot. And as you can see up here, that Pandora's battery is dead. And I'll just now hit shut down. Take out the Pandora's battery before you start it up again. Turn on the PSP. Put the regular battery in. And if it goes back to the menu, just hit reboot device. And there it is. It should boot normally. I need to PSC VSH menu. There we have it. Boot proof. There we go. It's on 5.0 M33-4. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.